In functional analysis, the concept of a compact operator on Hilbert space is an extension of the concept of a matrix acting on a finite dimensional vector space. In Hilbert space, compact operators are precisely the closure of finite rank operators representable by finite dimensional matrices in the topology induced by the operator norm. As such, results from matrix theory can sometimes be extended to compact operators using similar arguments. By contrast, the study of general operators on infinite dimensional spaces often requires a genuinely different approach. For example, the spectral theory of compact operators on Banach spaces takes a form that is very similar to the Jordan canonical form of matrices. In the context of Hilbert spaces, a square matrix is unitarily diagonalizable if and only if it is normal. A corresponding result holds for normal compact operators on Hilbert spaces. More generally, the compactness assumption can be dropped. But, as stated above, the techniques used to prove e.g. the spectral theorem are different, involving operator-valued measures on the spectrum. Some results for compact operators on Hilbert space will be discussed, starting with general properties before considering subclasses of compact operators. Topic Some general properties Let H be a Hilbert space, L H be the bounded operators on H T element of L H is a compact operator if the image of each bounded set under T is relatively compact. We list some general properties of compact operators. If X and Y are Hilbert spaces in fact X Banach and Y normed will suffice, then T, X Y is compact if and only if it is continuous when viewed as a map from X with the weak topology to Y with the norm topology, see ZU 2007, Theorem 1.14, P.11, and note in this reference that the uniform boundedness will apply in the situation where Fx satisfies phi element of home x k sup x asterisk asterisk phi equals phi x x the family of compact operators as a norm closed two sided asterisk ideal in L H consequently a compact operator T cannot have a bounded inverse if H is infinite dimensional if street topic T S I, then the identity operator would be compact, a contradiction. If a sequence of bounded operators S and S in the strong operator topology and T is compact, then S and T converges to Saint in norm. For example, consider the Hilbert space L2 N, with standard basis N. Let PM be the orthogonal projection on the linear span of E1 M. The sequence PM converges to the identity operator I strongly but not uniformly. Define T by 10. Topic 1 N 2 N T is compact and as claimed above PM T I T T in the uniform operator topology for all x P M T X minus T X one M plus one two X Display style left P underscore M T X T X right L E Q left F R A C one M plus one right carrot two X. Notice each PM is a finite rank operator. Similar reasoning shows that if T is compact, then T is the uniform limit of some sequence of finite rank operators. By the norm closedness of the ideal of compact operators, the converse is also true. The quotient C asterisk algebra of L H modulo the compact operators is called the Cochin algebra, in which one can consider properties of an operator up to compact perturbation. 
Topic compact self-adjoint operator A bounded operator T on a Hilbert space H is said to be self-adjoint if T equals T asterisk, or equivalently, T x, Y equals x, T Y, x, Y element of H, display style Langle T x, Y wrangle equals Langle x, tie wrangle, quad x, Y in H. It follows that is real for every x element of H, thus eigenvalues of T, when they exist, are real. When a closed linear subspace L of H is invariant under T, then the restriction of T to L is a self-adjoint operator on L, and furthermore, the orthogonal complement L of L is also invariant under T. For example, the space H can be decomposed as orthogonal direct sum of two T invariant closed linear subspaces, the kernel of T, and the orthogonal complement T of the kernel, which is equal to the closure of the range of T, for any bounded self-adjoint operator. These basic facts play an important role in the proof of the spectral theorem below. The classification result for Hermitian n times n matrices is the spectral theorem, if m equals m asterisk, then m is unitarily diagonalizable and the diagonalization of m has real entries. Let T be a compact self-adjoint operator on a Hilbert space H. We will prove the same statement for T. The operator T can be diagonalized by an orthonormal set of eigenvectors, each of which corresponds to a real eigenvalue. Equals. <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Spectral theorem. Equals. <laughs> Theorem for every compact self-adjoint operator T on a real or complex Hilbert space H, there exists an orthonormal basis of H consisting of eigenvectors of T. More specifically, the orthogonal complement of the kernel of T admits, either a finite orthonormal basis of eigenvectors of T, or a countably infinite orthonormal basis N of eigenvectors of T, with corresponding eigenvalues lambda n r, such that λ n zero. In other words, a compact self-adjoint operator can be unitarily diagonalized. This is the spectral theorem. When H is separable, one can mix the basis n with a countable orthonormal basis for the kernel of T, and obtain an orthonormal basis Fn for H, consisting of eigenvectors of T with real eigenvalues mu n such that mu n0. Corollary for every compact self-adjoint operator T on a real or complex separable infinite dimensional Hilbert space H, there exists a countably infinite orthonormal basis Fn of H consisting of eigenvectors of T, with corresponding eigenvalues μ n r, such that μ n0. The idea Proving the spectral theorem for a Hermitian n times n matrix T hinges on showing the existence of one eigenvector x. Once this is done, hermeticity implies that both the linear span and orthogonal complement of x are invariant subspaces of T. The desired result is then obtained by iteration. The existence of an eigenvector can be shown in at least two ways. One can argue algebraically, the characteristic polynomial of T has a complex root, therefore T has an eigenvalue with a corresponding eigenvector. Or, the eigenvalues can be characterized variationally, the largest eigenvalue is the maximum on the closed unit sphere of the function f, r2nr defined by f x. Topic x asterisk tx, note. In the finite dimensional case, part of the first approach works in much greater generality. Any square matrix, not necessarily Hermitian, has an eigenvector. This is simply not true for general operators on Hilbert spaces. The spectral theorem for the compact self adjoint case can be obtained analogously. One finds an eigenvector by extending the second finite dimensional argument above, then apply induction. We first sketch the argument for matrices. 
Since the closed unit sphere S in R2 N is compact, and F is continuous, F S is compact on the real line, therefore F attains a maximum on S, at some unit vector Y. By Lagrange's multiplier theorem, Y satisfies F equals Y T Y equals lambda Y Y display style nabla F equals nabla Y caret asterisk tie equals lambda C D O T nabla Y caret asterisk Y for some lambda. By hermeticity, tie equals lambda Y. However, the Lagrange multipliers do not generalize easily to the infinite dimensional case. Alternatively, let Z element of Cn be any vector. Notice that if a unit vector Y maximizes on the unit sphere or on the unit ball, it also maximizes the Rayleigh quotient, G x equals Tx, x x2, 0 does not equal x element of Cn, display style G x equals frac Langle Tx, x wrangle, x, caret 2, q quad 0 n e q x in math bf c caret n. Consider the function H R R H T equals G Y plus T Z Display style begin cases H Math BF R to Math BF R H T equals G Y plus T Z end cases by calculus H zero equals zero I E H zero equals Lim T zero H T Minus H zero T minus zero equals Lim T zero G Y plus T Z minus G Y T equals Lim T zero one T T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Y plus T Z two minus T Y Y Y two equals Lim T zero one T T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z minus T Y Y Y two equals one Y two Lim T zero T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z minus T Y Y T equals one Y two D D T T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Y plus T Z zero equals zero. 
Display style begin aligned H zero and equals lim underscore T to zero FRAC H T H zero T zero and equals lim underscore T to zero FRAC G Y plus T Z G Y T and equals lim underscore T to zero FRAC one T left FRAC Langle T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Wrangle Y plus T Z carrot two FRAC Langle tie Y Wrangle Y carrot two right and equals Lim underscore T to zero FRAC one T left FRAC Langle T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Wrangle Langle tie Y Wrangle Y carrot two right and equals FRAC one Y carrot two Lim underscore T to zero FRAC Langle T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Wrangle Langle tie Y Wrangle T and equals FRAC one Y carrot two left FRAC D D T FRAC Langle T Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Wrangle Langle Y plus T Z Y plus T Z Wrangle right zero and equals zero and aligned define M equals T Y Y Y Y Display style M equals FRAC Langle tie Y wrangle Langle Y Y wrangle after some algebra the above expression becomes re denotes the real part of a complex number t y minus m y z equals 0 display style re left langle time my z wrangle right equals 0 but z is arbitrary, therefore time minus my equals zero. This is the crux of proof for spectral theorem in the matricial case. Equals. Topic details. Equals. Claim if T is a compact self-adjoint operator on a non-zero Hilbert space H and M. T equals sup T X X X element of H X one display style M T equals sup B I G L Langle T X X Wrangle X in H X L E Q one big R then m t or minus m t is an eigenvalue of t. If m t topic zero, then t zero by the polarization identity, and this case is clear. Consider the function f h r f x equals t x x display style begin cases f h 2 math b f r f x equals langle t x x wrangle end cases replacing t by minus t if necessary one may assume that the supremum of f on the closed unit ball b h is equal to m t greater than zero if f attains its maximum m t on b at some unit vector y, then, by the same argument used for matrices, y is an eigenvector of t, with corresponding eigenvalue lambda. Topic. Topic. F y. M t. By the banach alaoglu theorem and the reflexivity of H, the closed unit ball B is weakly compact. 
Also, the compactness of T means C above that T, X with the weak topology X with the norm topology, is continuous. These two facts imply that F is continuous on B equipped with the weak topology, and F attains therefore its maximum M on B at some Y element of B by maximality, Y, equals 1, which in turn implies that Y also maximizes the Rayleigh quotient G X C above. This shows that Y is an eigenvector of T, and ends the proof of the claim. Note. The compactness of T is crucial. In general, F need not be continuous for the weak topology on the unit ball B for example, let T be the identity operator, which is not compact when H is infinite dimensional. Take any orthonormal sequence Yn. Then Yn converges to zero weakly, but lim F Yn. Topic. 1 does not equal 0. F zero. Let T be a compact operator on a Hilbert space H a finite, possibly empty, or countably infinite orthonormal sequence n of eigenvectors of T with corresponding non-zero eigenvalues is constructed by induction as follows. Let H zero. Topic H and T zero. T if M T zero Topic zero then T zero and the construction stops without producing any eigenvector N. Suppose that orthonormal eigenvectors E zero, N minus one of T have been found. Then N equals span e0 n minus 1 is invariant under t and by self adjointness the orthogonal complement hn of n as an invariant subspace of t let tn denote the restriction of t to hn if m tn equals 0 then tn topic 0 and the construction stops Otherwise, by the claim applied to Tn, there is a norm 1 eigenvector n of T in Hn, with corresponding non-zero eigenvalue λn. Plus 1 or minus m Tn. Let f equals span n, where n is the finite or infinite sequence constructed by the inductive process, by self-adjointness, f is invariant under t let s denote the restriction of t to f. If the process was stopped after finitely many steps, with a last vector m minus 1, then f topic hum and s T M Topic Zero by construction. In the infinite case, compactness of T and the weak convergence of N to zero imply that ten Lambda N zero, therefore Lambda N zero. Since F is contained in H N for every N, it follows that M S M T N Topic Lambda N for every N, hence M S zero. This implies again that S equals zero. The fact that S topic zero means that F is contained in the kernel of T conversely, if X element of Ker T, then by self-adjointness, X is orthogonal to every eigenvector N with non-zero eigenvalue. It follows that F Ker T, and that N is an orthonormal basis for the orthogonal complement of the kernel of T1 can complete the diagonalization of T by selecting an orthonormal basis of the kernel. This proves the spectral theorem. 
A shorter but more abstract proof goes as follows, by Zorn's lemma, select U to be a maximal subset of H with the following three properties, all elements of U are eigenvectors of T, they have norm 1, and any two distinct elements of U are orthogonal. Let f be the orthogonal complement of the linear span of U. If f does not equal 0, it is a non-trivial invariant subspace of T, and by the initial claim there must exist a norm 1 eigenvector y of T in f but then U y contradicts the maximality of U. It follows that f equals 0, hence span U is dense in H. This shows that U is an orthonormal basis of H consisting of eigenvectors of T. Equals Topic. Functional calculus Equals if T is compact on an infinite dimensional Hilbert space H, then T is not invertible, hence sigma T, the spectrum of T, always contains zero. The spectral theorem shows that sigma T consists of the eigenvalues lambda n of T, and of zero if zero is not already an eigenvalue. The set sigma t is a compact subset of the real line, and the eigenvalues are dense in sigma T. Any spectral theorem can be reformulated in terms of a functional calculus. In the present context we have Theorem. Let C sigma t denote the C asterisk algebra of continuous functions on sigma t. There exists a unique isometric homomorphism phi, C sigma t l h such that phi 1. Topic I and if f is the identity function f lambda lambda then phi f topic t moreover sigma f t f sigma t the functional calculus map phi is defined in a natural way, let n be an orthonormal basis of eigenvectors for H, with corresponding eigenvalues lambda n, for f element of C sigma t, the operator phi f diagonal with respect to the orthonormal basis n, is defined by setting phi f e n equals F Lambda N E N Display style Phi F E underscore N equals F Lambda underscore N E underscore N for every N. Since Phi F is diagonal with respect to an orthonormal basis, its norm is equal to the supremum of the modulus of diagonal coefficients Phi F equals sup lambda n element of sigma t f lambda n equals f c sigma t Display style phi f equals sub underscore lambda underscore n in sigma t f lambda underscore n equals f underscore c sigma t. The other properties of phi can be readily verified. Conversely, any homomorphism psi satisfying the requirements of the theorem must coincide with phi when f is a polynomial. By the Weierstrass approximation theorem, polynomial functions are dense in C sigma t, and it follows that psi equals phi, this shows that phi is unique. The more general continuous functional calculus can be defined for any self-adjoint or even normal, in the complex case bounded linear operator on a Hilbert space. The compact case, described here, is a particularly simple instance of this functional calculus. Topic. 
Simultaneous diagonalization Consider an Hilbert space H, e.g., the finite dimensional Cn, and a commuting set F home H H display style math call F subsetec operator name home H H of self adjoint operators. Then, under suitable conditions, can be simultaneously, unitarily diagonalized. Viz. There exists an orthonormal basis Q consisting of common eigenvectors for the operators, i.e., Q element of Q T element of F sigma element of C T minus sigma Q equals zero display style for all q in q t in math call f tilde exists sigma in math bf c tilde t sigma q equals zero lemma suppose all the operators in f display style math call f are compact then every closed non-zero f display style math call f invariant subspace sh has a common eigenvector for f display style math call f proof case i all the operators have each exactly one eigenvalue then take any s element of s display style s in s of unit length. This is a common eigenvector. Case 2, there is some operator T element of F display style T in math call F with at least two eigenvalues and let 0 does not equal alpha element of sigma T S display style zero n e q alpha in sigma T up harpoon right S. Since T is compact and alpha is non-zero, we have S equals cur T S minus alpha display style S equals cur T up harpoon right S alpha is a finite dimensional and therefore closed non-zero f display style math call f invariant subspace because the operators all commute with T. We have for T element of f display style T in math call f and x element of cur T s minus alpha display style x in cur t up harpoon right s alpha that t minus alpha t x equals t t x minus alpha t x equals zero display style t alpha t equals t t tilde x alpha t equals zero in particular we definitely have dim s dim s display style dim tilde s Thus we could in principle argue by induction over dimension, yielding that S S display style S subsetec S has a common eigenvector for F display style math call F. Theorem 1. If all the operators in F display style math call F are compact then the operators can be simultaneously unitarily diagonalized proof the following set p equals a h a is an orthonormal set of common eigenvectors for f Display style math bf p equals a subset h a text is an orthonormal set of common eigenvectors for math call f is partially ordered by inclusion. This clearly has the Zorn property. So taking q a maximal member, if q is a basis for the whole Hilbert space h, we are done. 
If this were not the case, then letting S equals Q displaystyle S equals Langle Q wrangle carrot bot. It is easy to see that this would be an F displaystyle math call F invariant non-trivial closed subspace, and thus by the lemma above, therein would lie a common eigenvector for the operators necessarily orthogonal to Q. But then there would then be a proper extension of Q within P, a contradiction to its maximality. Theorem 2. If there is an injective compact operator in F displaystyle math call F then the operators can be simultaneously unitarily diagonalized. Proof. Fix T 0 element of F display style T underscore 0 in math call F compact injective. Then we have, by the spectral theory of compact symmetric operators on Hilbert spaces H equals lambda element of sigma t 0 cur t 0 minus sigma display style h equals overline big o plus underscore lambda in sigma t underscore 0 cur t underscore 0 sigma where sigma t 0 display style sigma t underscore 0 is a discrete countable subset of positive real numbers and all the eigenspaces are finite dimensional since f display style math call f a commuting set we have all the eigenspaces are invariant since the operators restricted to the eigenspaces which are finite dimensional are automatically all compact we can apply theorem 1 to each of these and find orthonormal bases q sigma for the cur t 0 minus sigma display style cur t underscore 0 sigma since t 0 is symmetric we have that Q equals sigma element of sigma t zero Q sigma display style Q equals big cup underscore sigma in sigma t underscore zero Q underscore sigma is a countable orthonormal set. It is also, by the decomposition we first stated, a basis for H Theorem 3. If H a finite dimensional Hilbert space, and F home H H display style math call F subsetec operator name home H H a commutative set of operators, each of which is diagonalizable, then the operators can be simultaneously diagonalized. Proof. Case I, all operators have exactly one eigenvalue. Then any basis for H will do. Case 2, fix T 0 element of F Display style t underscore zero in math call f an operator with at least two eigenvalues and let p element of home h h times display style p in operator name home h h caret times so that p minus 1 t 0 p display style p caret minus 1 tilde t underscore 0 tilde p is a symmetric operator 
Now let alpha be an eigenvalue of p minus one t zero p display style p caret minus one t underscore zero p. Then it is easy to see that both cur p minus one t zero p minus alpha cur p minus one t zero p minus alpha Display style cur left p caret minus one tilde t underscore zero p alpha right quad cur left p caret minus one tilde t underscore zero p alpha right caret bot are non-trivial p minus one f p Display style p caret minus one math call f p invariant subspaces. By induction over dimension, we have that there are linearly independent bases q one, q two for the subspaces, which demonstrate that the operators in p minus one f p Display style p caret minus one math call f p can be simultaneously diagonalizable on the subspaces. Clearly, then p q one q two display style p q underscore one cup q underscore two demonstrates that the operators in F display style math call F can be simultaneously diagonalized. Notice we did not have to directly use the machinery of matrices at all in this proof. There are other versions which do. We can strengthen the above to the case where all the operators merely commute with their adjoint. In this case, we remove the term orthogonal from the diagonalization. There are weaker results for operators arising from representations due to whale peter Let G be a fixed locally compact Hausdorff group, and H equals L 2 G displaystyle H equals L caret 2 G the space of square integrable measurable functions with respect to the unique up to scale Haar measure on G. Consider the continuous shift action G times H H G F X equals F G minus 1 x display style begin cases g times h to h g f x equals f g caret minus 1 x end cases then if g were compact then there is a unique decomposition of h into a countable direct sum of finite dimensional irreducible invariant subspaces this is essentially diagonalization of the family of operators g u h display style g subset u h if g were not compact but were abelian then diagonalization is not achieved but we get a unique continuous decomposition of h into one dimensional invariant subspaces topic compact normal operator The family of Hermitian matrices is a proper subset of matrices that are unitarily diagonalizable. A matrix M is unitarily diagonalizable if and only if it is normal, i.e. M asterisk M equals M asterisk. 
Similar statements hold for compact normal operators. Let T be compact and T asterisk T equals T T asterisk. Apply the Cartesian decomposition to T, define R equals T plus T two J equals T minus T two I display style R equals frac T plus T carrot asterisk two quad J equals frac T T carrot asterisk two I. The self-adjoint compact operators R and J are called the real and imaginary parts of T, respectively. T is compact means T asterisk. Consequently, R and J are compact. Furthermore, the normality of T implies R and J commute. Therefore they can be simultaneously diagonalized, from which follows the claim. A hyponormal compact operator in particular, a subnormal operator is normal. <laughs> <laughs> Unitary operator The spectrum of a unitary operator U lies on the unit circle in the complex plane, it could be the entire unit circle. However, if U is identity plus a compact perturbation, U has only countable spectrum, containing one and possibly, a finite set or a sequence tending to one on the unit circle. More precisely, suppose U equals I plus C where C is compact. The equations u u asterisk equals u asterisk u. Topic I and C. U minus I show that C is normal. The spectrum of C contains zero and possibly a finite set or a sequence tending to zero. Since U equals I plus C, the spectrum of U is obtained by shifting the spectrum of C by 1. Equals Topic. Examples Topic. Let H L2 0 1 the multiplication operator m defined by m f x equals x f x f element of h x element of 0 1 Display style mf x equals xf x quad f in h x in zero one is a bounded self-adjoint operator on H that has no eigenvector and hence, by the spectral theorem, cannot be compact. Let k x y be square integrable on zero one two and define t k on H by t k f x equals 0 1 k x y f y d y Display style T underscore K F x equals int underscore zero carrot one K x Y F Y Mathem D Y then Tk is compact on H, it is a Hilbert-Schmidt operator, suppose that the kernel K x, y satisfies the hermeticity condition K y x equals K x y x y element of 0 1 
display style k y x equals overline k x y quad x y in zero one. Then T k is compact and self-adjoint on H if phi n is an orthonormal basis of eigenvectors with eigenvalues lambda n. It can be proved that lambda n two infinity k x y lambda n phi n x phi n y display style sum lambda underscore n caret two where the sum of the series of functions is understood as L two convergence for the Lebesgue measure on zero one two. Mercer's theorem gives conditions under which the series converges to k x y pointwise and uniformly on 0 1 2 Topic See also Singular value decomposition hashtag bounded operators on Hilbert spaces the notion of singular values can be extended from matrices to compact operators. Decomposition of spectrum functional analysis. If the compactness assumption is removed, operators need not have countable spectrum in general. Cochin algebra. <laughs>